What's the best case of instant karma that you've ever seen? Please like, subscribe and comment so I can create more videos for you. While working for the fire department, on a call for a multi-vehicle rollover accident on the interstate. We got on the interstate one exit away, running into traffic. So we moved over to the emergency lane with lights and siren. We were about halfway there and a BMW pulls in front of us trying to cut through the traffic. He didn't even look. I laid into the air horn and he came to a complete stop, with his middle finger out the window. I'd had a lot of people do stupid things when seeing lights coming at them, but this guy was being an ass for the sake of being an ass. He got out of his car and started screaming at us. Meanwhile he was blocking the only fire engine and two ambulances available. People were really hurt half a mile away, and he was making his stand because we honked our air horn at him for blocking us. I looked out at my mirror to see a highway patrol man running between lanes towards us, he was pissed. BMW boy was immediately arrested, his pretty car got pushed out of the way into a ditch and he went to jail. The people in the accident were hurt bad, and the cars had to be cut open to get people extricated from bent metal. It was frustrating. Do you happen to know what he was charged with? I'm just curious, it's obviously wrong and worth being arrested for. And I assume no one was liable for the damages to his BMW besides himself. It's kind of shocking to me that anyone would do this, be this disrespectful. As Soccer Pone said, thanks for your service. Used to commute to DC from 40 miles away. Driving home one evening, this dude decides he must merge into my lane now. Beeping and all, he pushes me off the road. The car behind me was a cop. As soon as I was on the shoulder, lights and sirens went on and the dude was pulled over. As a fellow DC area commuter I hope you were on the BWP and the cop was US Park Police. Those cops do the most, all the time. It was my own karma. I was in 8th grade. I was standing on a bench when I watched some girl fall over in the yard, started laughing and pointing and then went to lean back onto the fence that was behind the bench. Turns out it had broken off where I was standing and I fell straight through and into the mud. I'm in the next subway. A guy elbows me out of the way to get into the turnstile first yelling vaguely that he has a train to catch, no shit. Through the turnstile, turn the corner and there are a few cops set up near a folding table and he gets pulled to have his bag searched. Off topic, but I was running very late for a flight. Taxi to the airport pulled off some fast and furious action to get me there. Had to convince the lady at check-in I could make it. She let me through. Came to long queue of people, 20 plus, at the single metal detector baggage check. Did a quick Don Draper pitch about my situation to the crowd. Everyone was happy to wave me through. Even the detector guys were cool. But the guy who does the extra screening, bomb drug swab, carry on check, after the metal detector was immune to my situation. He pulled me aside. Methodically swabbed me down and scanned everything I had. Checked my carry on. As he did. Everyone I'd passed in the queue eventually filed past and smiled or laughed. I just grinned and shrugged. Of course my gate was at the other side of the terminal. Ran like the wind. Heard my name for last call. Made it with, nothing to spare. Took all the kindness in the world to get me there. I worked at a grocery store. I was stocking instant noodles on a big sale display. All I had was a cheap small step to step stool. You know the one with the bar that runs across the top step. Reaching down to the still from the shelf I was standing on, was about 3 feet I had a 60% chance my foot would land on the top bar and collapse the thing. I asked a co-worker to use his shoulder as a handle as I got down. My supervisor called me a princess for getting assistance. Soon after he was, stocking the two, litter coke bottles on a sales display. He tried to get down. He took the 40% success rate jump onto the step. Hit the top bar the step ladder collapsed. He broke his arm and took down half of the display. I just clocked out and left, before they told me to clean up the spilled soda all over the place. I was driving home on the highway during a horrible blizzard at night. The roads were extremely slick and dangerous. I was going about 30 miles per hour. 
My daughter was a newborn and it was the first time I had ever driven in the snow with her. I was nervous. Some jerk in a huge truck is doing 65, passing everyone in the slow lane and just being really risky and ignorant to the conditions and other drivers in general. He passed me, and I was like, you're gonna crash bro. Right at that moment, the dude fishtails, loses control, and crashes into a ditch. Don't worry, I'm not a sadist, he was completely fine. I know this because I saw him emerge from the truck and do a little angry freak out dance. His truck wasn't fine. That's what you get for endangering others during a blizzard. Driving through Philly and standstill traffic some chap decides to use the shoulder as a lane to cut in line. The vehicle he ended up cutting off was a state trooper. An instant whoop whoop and told to pull off the highway over a loudspeaker. I couldn't stop laughing. As a lifelong resident of Philadelphia, your story brings me such much joy. That time I had my shoes stolen. I was 17. Went to a party where there were kids from two different high schools. When I went inside I took off my brand new Nike Air Marder shoes that I had just bought for $140. Hours later, when I went to leave, my shoes were gone. We had an idea of who took them a guy from the other school, but didn't have proof. I was so sad and so embarrassed. I had to drive home in my socks. Long story short, a week later, Monica, the girl who threw the party, shows up on my doorstep holding something behind her back. Turns out she went to a party and saw the guy who stole my shoes, wearing them. When he took them off after a smoke break she snagged them. Now, standing in front of me she reveals my Nikes. She told me the best part was watching him look for them just like I had, and then leave in his socks. And now the two of you are married with three adopted kids who used to work in Nike sweatshops. Walking down the San Antonio River walk. Guy in front of us gets pooped on by a bird. Friend turns to me and says, sucks to suck friend literally gets pooped on as well, right at this moment. Asshole kid in middle school kept trying to steal my cell phone, it was a cheap flip phone, but he'd do it just to piss me off, dart. Our school had a rule that you couldn't have your phone out in class. Teacher left the classroom for a second to have a brief word with an administrator, jerkus kid grabbed my phone. Teacher came back in a moment later and caught him red, handed with, my, phone out. She wouldn't believe it wasn't his phone. He got detention. Reading the first half of this story gave me an unhealthy dose of middle school anxiety. Fuck those guys, especially the ones that would burrito your backpack, turn it inside out, and zip tee it shut. Back in high school I was kind of being a dick to a girl I was friends with. Nothing too bad, just some friendly teasing, but still. Then I turned around and fell down a flight of stairs. Even midfall the karma and the justice did not escape me. We both found it pretty funny. If I've learned anything from Reddit, you guys are happily married now? At the end of the day in locker room after gym class, this freshman kid who was really popular and always talked a lot of shit started messing with this guy who was kind of awkward and kind of got picked on a lot. Apparently, they got in each other's way in flag football or something. Awkward guy ignores cocky kid for a while until the cocky kid pushed him. Awkward guy had enough and hit the cocky guy in the face three times before he hit the ground. Knocked, his front teeth out. As we were all leaving school and talking about it, the overall consensus was, well, that's what happens when you talk that much shit. Don't know what to tell you, teach. I guess he just talked so much shit, his teeth just rotted and fell out. My dog tried to eat my sushi while I was away from the table for a second. I came back to missing wasabi and a disgusted looking dog. I wonder how intense it is for a pup to eat wasabi, given their exceptionally powerful snoots. In the UK, kids wear blazers and ties to school and a common bullying tactic that jerks used was to run up to kids, pull their ties so they get really tightly knotted. On the bus home, the bus was real little, and I was standing in front of one such bully. He grabbed my tie just as the bus had to break sharply. He lost his footing and the only thing keeping him upright was the fact that he was holding my tie. He had grabbed the wrong bit, it wasn't knotted, 
I simply untied it, he fell on his bum. That was the last time I was knotted. I was working in a supermarket when panicked customer Ray came up to me and said he'd accidentally left his cash in the ATM and had anyone handed it in. I was about to say no when customer B appeared behind him and said he'd been trying to catch up. To him, he'd been queuing behind him at the ATM and saw what happened, so he'd got the money for him. It was £200 so a decent amount. Customer A was super grateful and offered him some of the money but he wouldn't take it. Customer B then bought a scratch card, scratched it, and found he'd won £5. Not a whopping amount of karma, but karma nonetheless. Finally, one that isn't about people laughing at someone who speeds getting into a car wreck. At a job as a mechanic I got a part that was completely correct except the electrical plug was a different shape. I found out after I installed it. For the record it did plug in, just didn't have long enough prongs to communicate. I had to order the right part again and take this one off and install the right one, all while only getting paid to put the correct one on. Lost about 1.3 hours. My co-worker laughed and said bet you won't make that mistake again. Pay attention next time. His very next job he put all four tires on backwards, some tires are directional. Said the same thing to him. I knew I would use it against him, didn't know it would be that soon. TL, DR, I made a hard to spot mistake, dude made fun of me. His very next job he made an easy to spot mistake, I made fun of him. I broke a plastic piece on the tire machine, guy near the tire machine said something under his breath. I said, like you've never broken one. He had never broken one. Later on, when he did a set of tires, he broke the new plastic piece. Justice. My dad told me this story. He was driving back from the shore when traffic got really bad. About a mile ahead, there was an accident that had brought traffic to a crawl. Shit happens, my dad decides to be patient about it. Others weren't so patient. People began driving on the shoulder in order to get ahead of the traffic. This pisses my dad off. We all know how this goes. We do the right thing and are punished, for it, whereas these assholes are skipping in front traffic and will probably get away with it. He thought about following this stream of cars onto the shoulder, but he decided he'd do the right thing and wait. As he got closer he saw two cops in a parking lot. One cop was directing all of the shoulder drivers into the parking lot, while the other wrote all of those drivers tickets. He describes it as one of the most satisfying things he's ever seen. I was nearly hit by a cyclist who was going the wrong way down a one-way street. While he was screaming at me for not looking where I was going, because I'd only checked traffic in the direction it was supposed to go. He cycled into the front of a car going the correct direction. I was driving into a construction zone where three lanes converged to one. Right at the point it became one lane, a car tried to pass me on my right. I slowed down so he wouldn't hit me, but he ran over one of those metal lane dividers. It got caught up in his back right wheel well and went around a few times. I could see and hear it make a mess of his fender. Last I saw he was pulling over to inspect the damage. I banged Bunny on the corner for a hotel bed and my husband was laughing his ass off while he was brushing his teeth in the bathroom. As soon as he walks out of the bathroom, his hit his knee the exact same way and I got to laugh my ass off. My boyfriend has a big GMC. And one winter it was real snowy and a bunch of cars had gone into the ditch, as ya do. Because he's a nice guy, he was spending his day off pulling people out for free. At one point, while he was helping someone, some arsehole flew by him, wailing on the horn and flipping him off out the window. He got done pulling the car out and headed up the road in the direction that jackass had gone. A mile up the road, they found him standing outside of his car which was now plowed into a giant fucking tree. Boyfriend honked his horn, waved, and kept driving. Dude just hung his head like a scolded dog. Truly beautiful. Saw a guy in a gorgeous sports car, Ferrari I think, honking and yelling at a pedestrian in the crosswalk. Pedestrian had the right of way and was crossing during the signal. Immediately after they passed the guy guns it and arts around the corner and rear, ends a cop who was in the middle of writing a ticket. 
there was a truck parked on the street that was just enough to obstruct Ferrari guy's line of sight through the turn. It was glorious, I didn't even see it happen, I just heard the crunch right after he turned the corner. I have a lot of police in my family and let me tell you, they love nothing more than ticketing arrogant assholes in nice cars. Chera red cars especially. Not instant karma but I remember in middle school I knew a kid that would go door to door collecting donations for the walkathon and he'd keep the money for himself. He used the money to buy video games with it. One day he loans his friend, his game collection. His friend moved away with it. Who loans more than one game at a time? Also, did he have checks made out to him? Not instant, but karma nonetheless. My dad kept getting his lunch stolen at work one day, so he got my mother to get the spiciest hot sauce on the market to put on the sandwich, lo and behold, the guy who stole it was looking red as a hot iron. They fired the guy and my dad got to eat his lunch again. I used to be as a keeper. This bitch was making fun of our llama for looking ugly. The llama was a rescue who had corrective jaw surgery. The bitch pointed and laughed at our llama. The llama spat in her mouth. I gave the llama a treat and told her that she was a good girl. Edit, thanks Yuntao Nuzza. My instant karma llama story earned me my first gold. One time in middle school, this guy who was relatively new at our school was making fun of a girl in our class who fell in the hallway in between classes. Coincidentally this was a girl I had a crush on. He was a little bit of a class clown, and was mocking her. Making her look stupid and clumsy. Apparently, he misjudged his footing, and while attempting to jokingly ape the way she had fallen, actually fell for real, and landed squarely on his back in front of everybody. He broke his arm in the process. Passing him by in the hallway, I saw him just lying there, surrounded by adults and staring up at the ceiling, face completely expressionless. He didn't come back to school. Pretty sure he moved after that. I would have too. Passing him by in the hallway, I saw him just lying there, surrounded by adults and staring up at the ceiling, face completely expressionless. Because he was too embarrassed. Or because his brain got fucked up in the fall? Jackass I knew in high school was trying to get a mentally handicapped kid to do stuff for a jackass type video in a very nasty cruel way behind the gym, I'm sitting behind the car smoking a joint in the parking lot. Special kid is not dumb enough to play this game. Jackass decides to get him to hold the camera. People are heckling and calling out suggestions. Nothing interesting happens. Then someone comes out with a basketball, puts it on the concrete sidewalk, then hands Jackass an aluminium basketball bat and mimes hitting the basketball, like splitting a log with an axe. Jackass winds up, brings it down and I hear blah wank. His head is shooting back, blood everywhere. From where I was and how much weed I smoked I thought he smashed his skull. Bat clatters like 20 feet behind him and he goes down backwards. The bat bounced, nailed him in the eyebrow, split it open, and knocked him the fuck out. He was okay, but had a scar and a hell of a black eye for a few weeks. And the whole time the mentally handicapped kid he'd been trying to humiliate on camera is filming and laughing so fucking hard he's crying. Security didn't believe no. One hit jackass till he showed them the video. I saw someone tailgating another car on a highway. There was a huge CRT lying in the road. The tailgate changed lanes at the last minute and the tailgater slammed full speed into the TV. It was hilarious. Edit. For those too young to remember anything not flat screen, this Wikimedia webpage is a CRT, cathode ray tube, television. That a police car rounded the corner just in time for me and a guy to tell them that a bunch of kids had just thrown a firework at the owner of a nearby store. It was literally moments later, and they could see the kids running down the road from where we stopped them. I've got two. Can't really decide on which one is best. 1. Driving to work during a snowstorm. Pretty much everyone is taking it easier, because snow. Some guy in an Infinity FX35 thinks that he's invincible, so he comes driving down the road probably 15 miles an hour faster than everyone else. So he goes past me and I don't see him again until the fork in the road. Mister, 
Superhero went into the turn too fast and slammed into an iron fence at the triangle dividing the two streets. He was fine, because he was outside of his car, looking at it with a look of confusion. Two was driving home one night around 10 p.m. I'm stopped at a red light in front of a shopping mall, about midway down the block. The east and westbound road is separated by a pedestrian island. Someone pulls up next to me at the light, looks around, and drives through the red light. Suddenly, from the opposite side of the street, red and blue lights, a whoop whoop of a siren, and an NYPD SUV hops the island and pulls the guy over. The police weren't camped out or anything, just waiting at the red light on their side of the street. Right place at the right time. This happened a couple of months back. Young driver in a brand new Merc dangerously overtaking me and others on a single lane. Caught up with him at the next set of lights, two lane, mine turning his going straight, both with a car ahead of us. Did the universal wind down your window sign and suggested he call his driving or he will get into a crash. Told me to fuck off. Lights go green, he boots it off the line, smack into the back of the car in front. Bonnet bent in half, radiator blown, airbags deployed. I got out, checked the other poor innocent driver was unharmed, gave him my details as a witness, gave the dickhead driver the old told you so and carried on my way. A guy in a charger was weaving through traffic and passing at high speed in a work zone on the interstate and I said to the other person in the car it'd be nice to see one of those assholes get busted just once. A minute later, a state trooper swings out from the tree line on an access road and pulls the guy over. Double fines for speeding in a work zone, by the by. My best friend's mom has always been like a second mom to me, at least since my bestie and I were in fourth grade. This year for Easter, she invited me over for dinner with her family, so I decided to get her a quick gift, which included some dog toys for her huskies, some flowers, a thank you card and a scratch-off ticket. She has always been so kind to me, she even writes the same sweet motherly messages on my Facebook timeline as she does for her own daughters. That's probably why I cried with utter joy when the ticket I bought her won her $1000. It wasn't necessarily instant karma since she has been good to me for more than 16 years, but she won some money in an instant. In elementary school, all the kids went to the bus stop together. As we walked, one of the second graders ran into a lamp post. One of my classmates couldn't stop laughing. We crossed the street and he was still laughing his ass off and didn't look where he was going. You know what's coming, he ran into a lamp post as well and instantly got laughed at was at a show jumping event and a little girl went up to a famous show jumper with her book of famous riders and asked him to sign it. She couldn't find him in the book and asked if he could help her. He responded find it yourself and walked away. In his final round, after the incident, worth $100,000, first jump the horse stopped and he fell face first into the floor. Not going to lie I was laughing. The best one was a real effing goon at my school. He got up on the roof of a shed to piss on kids as they left the shed. But this dumb bully fell off the roof resulting in a broken wrist, injured wang and humiliation. Injured wang. Did he forget to let go of it with the hand that he fell on to get the broken wrist? Asshole swerving through traffic like a maniac in a school zone, and marked police car pulled him over. I was walking to the store with a friend when we were 13. We heard someone yelling at us and turned around to see some kid about 50 feet away. He was yelling and calling us FS and every other homophobic word you know at that age. As, we started to walk over to confront him he did a 180 and started running while turning. Well he spun around and ran face first into a tree and hit it hard enough that he fell to the ground from the impact. We couldn't stop laughing and, hopefully that was enough embarrassment for him to learn a lesson. I'm so late to this party, but this is too good not to share. When I was about 16, and my brother was 12, we lived on a ranch. We had horses, cats, dogs, and chickens. Because of the horses, we had this thing called a lunge whip. It's basically a long, flexible pole with a length of rope at the end. My brother and I were waiting for the horses to finish eating. Lil bro was dragging around the lunge whip, at first, to play with the cats. 
but then Big Chi starts snapping the whip near the cats, mostly to irritate me. Hey. Don't do that. Mom already said that you weren't supposed to, and if you accidentally hit one of them I'll beat you up. Me. Lil bro looks me in the eyes and says, I do what I want. He flicks the whip once more, and it snaps back and hits him straight on the dick. I have called him dick bruise for years. Was skiing at Breckenridge, and they have it but all left. For those which don't know what that is, it basically a big upside down 6 foot tall uppercase T which is pulled by a cable. You hold on and it slides you up the mountain. The T shape allows for two people to hold on to either side of the crock of the T. People fall off of this all the time when they are not used to it, which gives locals a sense of superiority. Well one brave young boy, maybe 12-14 on a snowboard set out to handle the T, bar. He lost his footing about 30 seconds in but held on despite being dragged. This happens often but usually for only a few seconds as most have good enough sense to let go. Instead this boy was dragged up more than a thousand feet on his belly. I was behind him as was another couple. We could not believe he was holding on. Well that bar stopped further up for someone else, didn't stop for him, and he is too exhausted to stand up and fix his situation, but the couple behind him have been laughing so hard that when that bar abruptly started up again they fell off. Bottom line is he made it to the top and they did not. Not a case of bad karma luckily. My friend and I were walking out of Walmart when a homeless man asked me for money for food. I don't ever carry cash on me. So I say I'm sorry I don't have any and go to walk away. However, I had worked earlier that day and still had an open snacks in my car. So I walk back up to him and say I don't have any money but I do have some snacks and water in my car that I can give you. His face lit up. So I walked to my car and grabbed the snacks and walked back. I hand him the bag, it had a granola bar, two bags of chips, some crackers and two water bottles. He thanks me about 20x and I tell him to have a good day. So I go to my friend's house and we're just hanging out and I'm scrolling through a citywide selling page on Facebook. I had just bought a new, king size bed and didn't have a bed set for it. I came across this beautiful solid wood frame with built in drawers that was in perfect condition. The seller had it listed for $100. She was selling it because it didn't fit in her new house. So I have my husband and some friends get a truck and we go to get it that same day. I gave the lady the $100, and she mentions that I meant to post it for $1000 but mistyped. Since we already agreed on the price before I realized it, you can have it for the $100. And that's how I gave a homeless man food and good karma greeted me with a practically new bed set for $100. I would feel so bad about taking it for $100 and offer more. This is why I don't work in sales. Not quite instant, but my man came to my city and brought me home to look after me after I was wrongly discharged from acute inpatient care in the hospital. This cost her a lot of money in both travel and lost hours at a job. I didn't ask her to do this but she is a wonderful person so she did anyway. Whilst I was home, she had an evening at the bingo with her best friend, and they won over 1000 pounds, which covered the costs she had had to spend to look after me. I love my mom so much. One time I saw a truck swerve to purposefully hit a cat. It was the type of truck that you see where the dude is clearly compensating for something, huge tires, lifted with the testicles on the back hitch. Well he successfully hit the cat, and it splattered all over his truck. And it wasn't a cat, it was a skunk. Edit, for all of you asking, I knew he thought it was a cat, or some other small animal, because skunks kinda look like cats, and no one in their right mind would purposefully run over a skunk. You are right that I am not psychic. The reason I knew he tried to hit it was he swerved on a two-lane road to hit the skunk who was walking parallel to the road, not crossing it. After a few days of getting killed at the blackjack tables at Fox Woods, my friend and I spent our last night getting hammered. Went back to the room and decided to order some room service. He ordered, and I went to grab some water from the vending machine. In the hallway were two old ladies, one of whom was having a massive seizure. I had just taken a CPR first aid course a year or two earlier, and just jumped in. Rolled her to her side, fished out her dentures, arm up under the head. 
had her friend hold her in place, and ran back to the room to have my friend call security to get Ems up there. They got there, and took her away. She was awake and alert as they rolled her off. Next morning, we decided to hit the tables before we left. Not only did I win back all my losses, but I left up about 4 grand. My school was having a bake sale and this girl wanted red velvet cake but only had her credit card. So I bought one for her without any expectations and she got me a port of subs gift card for 10 bucks the next day. I was paintballing last Saturday and there was a bunch of kids there for a birthday party. Birthday boy didn't like the fact that one of his guests has made a joke at his expense and everyone laughed. So he shot him in the back of the leg from one yard away. When walking away like nothing happened, he tripped over a root and landed on his gun resulting in his hopper opening, all his paintballs spilling onto the ground and the end of the gun taking a chunk of skin from his hip. Whoa, doesn't that seem a little extreme? Let the punishment fit the crime. Do you know how expensive paintballs are? Am I the only one that wants to see someone do something good and then have something awesome happen to them? Karma isn't always bad. When I was in high school I used to dress up as Santa Claus during spirit week and one day while getting lunch one of the special needs students approached me. I spent about 10 minutes listening to all he wanted for Christmas and acting the part. Eventually his handler came and took him away but I wished him a Merry Christmas and mustered my best ha ho ho. After this I received a little ticket that was for kind deeds from one of the teachers there. I know a little piece of paper, doesn't seem like much karma but I treasure it and it sits right next to my prom crown. Getting a bunch of girls to sit on my lap was also a plus haha. <laughs> Late to the party but since this appears to be all mainly karma to our souls I'll share my story. I was in high school walking back from lunch when there was a rolled a gentleman who had crutches in front of me. He couldn't manage to get off the road since the curb was high and he obviously had leg injuries. All the school kids were walking past him so I did what I thought any decent person would do and went over to him and gave him a helping hand up, onto the pavement so he could continue on his way. No big deal. As I walked on I got flagged down by a woman in a car who had watched the entire incident and she informed me she was the head teacher, principal, of a neighboring school and had been at a beating at my school. She phoned up my school and explained the situation to my head teacher. As soon as I got back in for lunch I was brought in by my head teacher and thanked for giving the school, a good name, apparently our school doesn't do much good. Got an extra hour for lunch and a certificate at the school award ceremony. No it's not as interesting as some of these stories but every little helps eh. I was playing volleyball with a group of my friends a few years back. One of the guys who is just an acquaintance of mine was known for being unreasonably angry. Throughout the whole game he's being a total dick to everyone, yelling and screaming, citing the rules and saying everyone is breaking them. Eventually we all had enough so we just unanimously kept egging him on and acting dumb on purpose to fluster him. At one point he gets so mad that he got on both his knees and started, screaming, while he does this alone pigeon swoops by and takes a shit on his face. The rest of us laughed about it for weeks. Had an eventual karma moment. This guy was an extreme ass jack to me back in HS when I was going through health issues. After I got better, I took his spot off the basketball team. Felt great. My brother tried to shoot a soccer ball at me at full speed but he hit the edge of the sidewalk so perfectly that the ball changed direction into his face knocking him out. That was fun. My roommate is very nosy and judgmental about people's sex lives. At the beginning of the first semester, we went to dinner with our suitor who is quite a few years older than us in order to get to know her. Somehow, we got onto the topic of teenage mothers, and our suitor admitted that she got pregnant at 16. My roommate said something along the lines of I would get an abortion so fast. I'm guessing you didn't want to keep it either. Only to find out that our suitor had a miscarriage. It was an awkward meal after that but it was so refreshing to see her get shut down like that. I hope she learned a lesson. When I was in 8th grade, my best friend and I were on the soccer team together. We were on the bus on the way to a game and she had some sort of breath spray with her. She sprayed it directly in my eyes. I'm pretty sure it was an accident but it burned like hell, and I was pissed. 
This happened right as we were arriving. We all hopped off of the bus and immediately started warming up practicing. We were passing the ball back and forth and as soon as I passed it to her, a bird shit on her head. It's one of my favorite memories. Guy with glasses yelled at me for passing ball to someone else instead of him, swore and raged at me, other team's player accidentally threw the ball in his face and got his glasses shattered on his face. Fuck you, Eege. I was walking through an incredibly icy parking lot when I slipped and fell on my butt. A truck full of guys drove by and rolled down their windows to yell out mean things to me and laugh at me. They went up the row and took the turn too fast and crashed into a light pole. I laughed at them as I walked past their smoking truck. I was walking down a busy street and a guy shoulder barged me as he walked past, unbeknown to him I had a lead cigarette in my hand and it burnt him pretty bad. I was about 10 foot away when I heard him scream out but there was too many people and I never saw him again. I heard him scream out but there was too many people and I never saw him again. This line has so much potential. Writing prompt. Idea for an action movie and or drama. Plot twist. Controversial ad. You name it. I found out the guy next to me broke his hand by his scream. Apparently he was trying to suck a punch me in the side of the head and I had moved. He hit a palm tree. We had a pretty harmless argument earlier in the night. I was quite amused. A girl laughed at my wife and I on a train. When the train stopped, she tripped onto the guy in front of her and got a nosebleed. Edit, thanks for all the nice comments peeps. Laughed about my cousin stepping barefoot in an ant nest, while I stood barefoot in another ant nest. Some guy cut me off on the highway, he gave me the finger when I honked. About a mile later, he rear-ended someone pretty bad. I am 15. Uncle number one borrows uncle number two car. It's a stick. Uncle one hasn't driven a stick in a while. While at a light he stalls. Car behind us gets impatient, pulls out not noticing the light turned red and key, bones a turning pickup truck. They also failed to notice the marked patrol car to car lengths behind them. He hits the lights pulls into the intersection to check on the pick, up truck driver. Then he deals with the impatient dumb fuck who ran a light and can't move her car because her entire front end is smashed in. I was walking home from work one day. On my way, I have to cross a busy intersection. I was crossing on a green light and someone pulled up to the corner intending to turn right. Without looking, she was looking towards the stop traffic to see if any of them were moving. Not sure if she realized she was on a green light or not, she turned right in front of me. I was close enough that she nearly ran over my toes. The second after she turned she saw me and and flipped me off. There was a cop a couple cars behind her that saw the whole incident. He pulled her over and checked if I was okay before sending me on my way. Waiting to turn left at a red light. Arrow turns green and I start to turn. A huge lifted pickup truck comes around me from the right and cuts in front of me to make the turn. Scared the crap out of me more than anything else because this was a big truck, read small penis, and he was going fast. Couldn't have been more than one minute down the road and I see he's been pulled over. Huh. Who would have thought? People are way too casual about driving. Too many responses and here are about people getting pulled over for driving how they've probably driven for a long time and been lucky. Girl at work was berating one of my buddies for being homosexual, calling him sick and an abomination and hated by God. She would up getting pregnant and disowned by her family, had a complete mental breakdown, quit work. I don't enjoy seeing people go through hard times, but she was a major league cunt. My neighbor followed me down my driveway to yell at me for not coming to a complete stop at the stop sign. I apologized politely, even though I knew he was being petty as we live on a dead end quiet street, he then proceeded to yell and curse at me as he backed out of my driveway but as karma would have it, he backed into my tree and entered his whole side of his car and ripped his mirror off. He then proceeded to fly off down the road and didn't break for the stop sign. I was driving on a two lane road through a neighborhood. The road had a lot of turns and the double yellow line was a clear indicator that passing was not allowed. I was driving the speed limit for the neighborhood, 
30 miles per hour, when this car comes up behind me and passes me. Two seconds later, a police officer, who just happened to see the whole thing from an upcoming intersection, flashes his lights and pulls the guy over. That was great. Misa was bitching at me because I wasn't walking fast enough. I stumbled a little trying to be faster I'm only 5 feet 4 inches and he's more than 6 dart. He laugh at me saying that I never look at where I'm going. Two minutes later he trips and fell completely flat on his stomach, in front of a lot of people. I smiled. No I'm not with him anymore. My friend bought a new coat which he thought was hip. It was brand new to which I said you look like a homeless person. I promptly slipped on a sheet of ice and fasa planted. Was stuck in unmoving traffic during the night. I saw one guy do the whole go backwards on the entrance ramp to get out of the traffic move. Seconds later the road was lit up with flashing police cruiser lights. Felt so cathartic to see someone get in trouble while we were all stuck there in traffic. This actually happened to me. I was driving down a windy mountain road behind a guy doing exactly the speed limit. We came to a straightaway that was long enough for me to pass him. Like an asshole, I rode his bumper, swerved into the opposing lane, and stomped the gas to get past him. While I was passing I noticed a police SUV parked behind a bush, and was immediately pulled over for speeding. I went with my girlfriend to the John Fluvog store so she could buy the same pair of boots for the third time. So she had owned this style of boot for well over 10 years. Unfortunately they stopped making that particular type, and she was beside herself. I was being very supportive and comforting, but I also happened to see a pair of boots in the sale bin that happened to fit, so I bought them. She was happy for me because I didn't own a pair of boots, but I felt that I was sort of rubbing salt in her wound. We had gone in to get her something she loved and we left with her feeling crushed and me getting an unexpected sweet deal. A month later I went to a different store to buy the same pair of sneakers I had been buying over and over again but the line had just been discontinued, and something caught her eye. My neighbors are violent druggies, and so they fight a lot. One time they were calling us names and on a drug-fueled rampage as was the usual, but we heard sirens right outside our door. An officer came out and gave the neighbors a summons for loud noise from their blasting music. I drive a car that's pretty piss poor in snow. I grew up in Brown County, Indiana which is a hilly, densely wooded, curved road type of area, and it's an absolute nightmare to drive when it's snowing outside. So, I'm driving home from my mom's house one day when some uncle fuckhead type starts tailgating me in his penis compensator large pickup truck. He starts swerving back and forth, flashing his brights, etc. Because apparently, not doing 60 miles per hour in a blizzard is a cardinal sin. So, I pull off to the side to let him pass me. He flips me the bird and speeds off into the snowy wasteland. Not even a mile later, I see him on the side of the road. His truck must have hit black ice and he ended up crashing into a creek bed. He waved me down for help. I drove off and left him there. It wasn't instant, it actually happened about two years after but man, the satisfaction. There was this customer we used to get, and you know in Roald Dahl's The Twits he describes how a person's personality often transforms the way they look. Well, that was this guy. Every day he'd come in looking like a bulldog licking piss off a thistle. He was a fucking piece of work. Anyway, he comes in, orders his usual drink, and stands off to the side waiting for it. I'm the one making the drinks and one right after the other is the same drink, same size. Just a different name on the cup. I call out the first one, which happens to be his, but he's obviously living on another plane, probably plotting on how to fuck up someone's day, and doesn't hear his name being called multiple times. It's when I lay down the second drink that shit goes down. Another lady picks up the cup with his name on it, and he picks up the drink with the lady's name on it. He starts to go ballistic at me and at the customer, waving his drink about, calling the customer and I idiots. Whatever. I'm not paid enough. I walk up to my manager and say she can deal with him, and I walk off the floor because number. I don't see this miserable, crinkly faced shite for a good couple of years. Then, one afternoon, I'm walking down the street to meet up with someone when I see him. 
he's just stepped in dog shit and hasn't taken notice of it yet, just keeps walking down the road. I've never smiled wider in my life. Looking like a bulldog licking piss off a thistle, I'm going to imagine that he constantly has his tongue hanging limply out of his mouth like a bulldog that's lost its teeth. The fuck EA posts during the peak of the battlefront to controversy were pretty instant karma. I was the recipient of this instant karma. I worked at this Thai place. Our back door led to the driveway of a house with gross redneck owners whose four dogs pooped everywhere. We entered through the back door at opening, and it sucked in the winter because you'd have to make your way down this sheet of ice. Anyway, my boss was an abusive pose. One evening we arrived at the same time. He went down the ice hill before me and slipped, whacked his head hard, and came to a stop in a fresh pile of dog crap. I did not even try to hide my laughter. Then I made my way down the ice hill. I also fell, pretty hard in fact. But I didn't whack my head, and I didn't land in dog crap. Totally worth it. TLDR, watched my really abusive boss slip on ice, hit his head, and land in dog crap. Laughed my ass off and then proceeded to fall as well. Not quite instant, but eventual, if I'm allowed to bend the rules here. A former roommate was an a-hole, who'd brag about being able to talk a lot of shit to a lot of people when out drinking, without getting punched in the face. One evening, after having been drinking and talking a lot of shit, he got punched in his goddamn face. Oh, the karma seemed like a warm hug then. A girl I knew and didn't particularly get on with was talking to some friends rather loudly and nastily about me, some sort of bullshit attempt to intimidate me whilst she was very drunk and wobbling all over the place in a total state. I chose to ignore it even though it put a huge dampener on my evening. Literally no more than 5 minutes later she, fell down the stairs and broke her collarbone. My youngest sister thought it would be funny to kick the back of my leg when I wasn't paying attention she missed. She also lost her footing and fell backward, slamming both the back of her head and her elbow on the hardwood floor. High school. One girl was going to prove the Bible was fiction, with a caveat here, I am probably agnostic now as compared to the person I was in high school, but besides the point. She comes in with a Bible, is going to prove to everyone that it's not real, and slams it down on her desk. She sits. The desk collapses underneath her. I kid you not. God might not be real, but calm as a biatch. This is very similar to a story from one of my high school history classes. We were learning about Joan of Arc and our teacher goes you know, Joan was probably a bitch to be around. Immediately after she said that, the map of France she had next to her rolled up with a loud bang. It freaked us all out and we never talked bad about Saint, Joan ever again. I was driving home from school one day and it was particularly busy. This one asshole in a sports car was weaving between cars behind me as we were approaching a part of the road that merged from two lanes to one. He zooms past us, and there is no room to merge because there's the traffic so he cuts off this newer model charger in front of me. Lo and behold it was an unmarked police cruiser, and he made the officer slam on the brakes, who then promptly turned on his lights and pulled him over. I literally fist pumped as I drove by, 